everyone, my name is Grace, and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Chapter 9, Brave Miriam, Exodus 2. Let's read. Miriam was an Israel girl. Her family, family lived in Egypt. The Pharaoh of Egypt didn't like the people of Israel. The Pharaoh ordered his man to kill all the Israel's baby boys. Miriam's mother had a lovely baby boy. She had she hid the baby and raised him. So like you can see that in yesterday's story, many Israel people came to Egypt. So Paro was thinking that Israel were kind of became coming too powerful. So he thought that he should kill the bait. Like so, he said to work hard to Israel people and make slaves. But look, there still there were many babies. So Paro decided to kill all the baby boy of Israel. But Miriam's mother had a lovely baby boy, so he was kept hiding it, the baby boy, but and raised him. As the baby grew, she couldn't hide her him any longer. She laid her son in a basket and placed him in the river. So as baby grew, she, oh sorry, she couldn't hide him any longer, so he laid the son in a basket. He decided to place him in a river. I will be with the baby, said Miriam. Miriam was a brave girl. Miriam followed the basket secretly. So her mother prayed to God and he was very worried about the baby. So Miriam said that she, she will go for the baby. And everyone, so Mira was very brave, you can see that. So Mira was very brave and he fall, she followed the baby basket. The baby cried in the basket. A woman came to the river to take a bath. She was a princess of Egypt. Look at the basket. She was surprised to see the baby in the basket. I will raise his, raise this cute baby myself. So, a princess of Egypt saw a baby boy in the river, and he knew it was Israel's baby, but he wanted. He didn't, she didn't have any baby for a long time, so he just, she decided to raise this cute baby uh, herself. The princess said, I will call this baby Moses because I took him out of the water. Moses means a child out of the water. I need nurse. Where the princess Miram was watching everything. She ran to the princess and said, I know a woman, she can help you. So, princess liked the baby boy and he called him Moses. And Moses' meaning is 
I took him out of the water. And he was worried about the nurses. But Miam heard all our all things. So he she decided she decided to tell about her mother. So like because Miram was very brave because like he told the princess. She talked the princess and told everything. My mother can take care of the baby baby. So Miriam the princess said yes. And Miriam brought her mother. The princess asked her, I will pay you for nursing this baby. The mother was very ha happy to raise her own baby openly. Thank you. You're such a brave girl, Miriam, said the mother. So, Miriam told the princess, like, I know a woman who can help you. So he take her mother and said, then come quickly. So mother came in and like, she would be very surprised because like, and he will, she will be very happy because he can raise her own baby openly. Chapter 10. Moses saw the flames of the bush. Exodus 2 to 4. Moses became 40 years old. Moses knew that he was an Israel living in Egypt. One day he saw an Egyptian heading an Israel. He was mad and killed the Egyptian. So Egyptian Pyro tried to catch Moses. But Moses ran away. So, her brother and sister told Moses that you're an Israel. So, he knew that he was an Israel. So, one day, he, and he saw an Egyptian heading an Israel. So, he was so mad to see that. And because he knew that he was an Israel. So, Moses ran away. Time had passed. Moses got married and became a shepherd. Moses was 80 years old. Moses was sad. He missed the people of Israel and Egypt. They were slaves in Egypt. So they were... Moses... Now Moses was a shepherd and he also got married. And he was thinking for the Israels in Egypt. They're slave, still slave. Moses was taking care of his sheep. He was sad because of the Israel in Egypt. Moses said to himself, My people are suffering all day because of the king of Egypt. Who can help them? So Moses was very sad because he couldn't help anything for Israel people. Moses was taking care of his sheep one day something strange happened. Then a bush was on fire but it was not burning. God spoke to Moses from the bush. Go to go back to Egypt. Bring my people out of Egypt. You will go to Canaan as I promised to Abraham long, long time ago. So Moses one day he was taking care of his sheep, but a strange thing happened. Like Fire, bush and fire, but it didn't burn. Uh -oh. Sorry, it doesn't my phone. 
so it was God. God was saying that bring my people out of Egypt and you will go that the promised land to what I have promised to Abraham long time ago. Moses was afraid he didn't want to do this job. He knew the power would try to kill him, but God showed miracles to injure Moses. God also let his brother Aaron to go with him. Aaron spoke well. So Moses was afraid because like he knew Paro wanted him to be by. So he didn't want to go so he asked for God but God showed my miracles to him so he and also let his brother Aaron to go with him. So God was saying to Moses that go. Moses went to Egypt. Moses was going to bring God's people back. Moses was going to do as what God has said. What the hell? There's something strange. So he went to Egypt with his brother. Why there's no brother here? What? There should be his brother. Anyway, Moses was going to Egypt. Yes, today I heard the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time? I will read another good story. Then, see you next time. Bye!